Hello, my name is Sean Copeland and I'm Chairman and CEO of Regent Bank and we want to welcome you to another edition of Regent Elevate and today, as we mentioned last week, we are going to start our series on leading with love. We talked about how important it is last week for a leader not to be distant, not to uh, lead by fear and intimidation, but to lead with love. And the first thing that we're going to talk about when you're leading with love is the importance of leading with patience. Now, patience is having self-control in difficult situations. And I have experienced this myself recently. When you're in a scenario where you're overloaded, you're feeling a lot of stress, it's very hard to be patient with those that you work with. So, it, you know, it's, it's uh, mentioned first in 1 Corinthians, love is patient love is kind, love does not envy. I think it's mentioned first for a reason because it's very, very difficult and those people who can uh, exercise patience are very, very honorable. So as we think about patience, we really just want to think about a couple of things here. Number one, we want to patiently admonish. So we want to be careful how we correct those who work for us. Never tear them down in public. There's never an excuse for making someone feel small or embarrassing them uh, in public. Make sure that we always maintain their dignity and admonish them uh, privately. Uh, I had a boss once who uh, his big style during loan committee was to scream and yell if you had a past due loan or did something wrong, you throw stuff and that just is not, that wasn't motivating to me. Uh, I quit and left and went someone at, somewhere else and your employees don't like that either. Uh, second is we want to be patient in our praise just general praise where we say, hey, everybody's doing a great job, you guys are awesome, that just does not land as well as watching what people do, giving them very specific praise, and ideally lining that praise up with your core values to do a real great positive uh, affirmation. So always do three praises for one admonishment. Uh, take the time to connect with your people on an individual basis and brag on them publicly but very, very specifically uh, and make sure that we uh, don't overreact or act too quickly and that all everything that we do is in love and it is well thought out and it is, it is uh, patient. So next time we're going to talk about what does it mean to lead with kindness? How, how are we a leader that leads with kindness? And we look forward to seeing you next week.